Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a nostalgic journey back to the iconic era of the Sega Dreamcast. If you're a fan of classic gaming or looking to discover hidden gems, you're in for a treat. Get ready to dust off your VMU because we're about to dive into the seven Dreamcast gems that you absolutely need to play right now. From epic adventures and jaw-dropping worlds to funky tunes and high-speed racing, these titles defined an era. So, let's power up our Dreamcasts and explore the magic of these timeless classics. Without further ado, here are seven Dreamcast gems that deserve a spot in your gaming library. Meet Vice, a valiant air pirate sailing the skies with his crew, the Blue Rogues. In the floating world of Arcadia, where continents hang in the sky, Vice's journey takes an unexpected turn when he rescues a mysterious girl from the clutches of the oppressive Valua Empire. Little do they know, this act sets them on a course for an epic tale that threatens the very existence of their world. At first glance, Skies of Arcadia might seem like your typical RPG, but don't be fooled. As the game progresses, it evolves into something truly remarkable. The initially straightforward story takes unexpected turns, whisking Vice and his companions to lush new areas and unraveling a narrative that goes beyond the ordinary. Arcadia's environments are a testament to the game's attention to detail. Dungeons, like the Flooded Temple, showcase intricate designs that set a new standard for RPG visuals. The game's third-person chase camera view adds a unique perspective, making towns and dungeons equally enchanting and allowing players to appreciate the surrounding beauty. Random monster encounters are a staple in RPGs, and Skies of Arcadia doesn't shy away from them. Whether sailing the skies or exploring dungeons, Vise and crew face their fair share of challenges. But fear not, as the game introduces super moves that spice up the battle system, utilizing spirit points and making encounters more engaging as the party gains experience. Developed by Overworks, the minds behind Sega's classic fantasy star series, Skies of Arcadia, lives up to the legacy. With elemental magic, a variety of weapons, and captivating spell combinations, the battles remain intriguing throughout the game. It's truly the Dreamcast role-playing game we've all been waiting for. Have you played this gem before? Tokyo Extreme Racer, developed by Genki, takes the racing genre to a whole new level. Forget multiple tracks, licensed cars, and realistic driving models. Instead, picture this. One massive track, unlicensed cars, no body damage, and an emphasis on high-stakes races on the highways of Tokyo. The result? An unexpectedly fun and addictive single-player racing experience. The core of Tokyo Extreme Racer lies in its quest mode. Starting with a modest budget, you purchase one of 25 fictional cars and hit the Tokyo highways. The gameplay revolves around challenging streetwise opponents, labeled as rivals, to races. The twist? A fighting game style energy meter determines the winner. Flash your high beams, challenge opponents, and earn money to upgrade your car or buy a new one. The quest mode becomes a compelling and addictive journey through Tokyo's streets. The opponents are divided into gangs, each with its own set of members. Defeat all members of a gang, and you face the gang leader in a decisive race. The game introduces powerful racers known as Devis, appearing as boss battles and adding an extra layer of challenge. The sense of progression and the thrill of facing tougher opponents make every race a high-stakes encounter. Earning money through victories allows you to upgrade your car. The customization options go beyond performance upgrades offering cosmetic changes like paint jobs and stylized accessories. The simplicity of the upgrade system makes it accessible for both novice and experienced players, ensuring a satisfying progression. While Tokyo Extreme Racer isn't without its flaws, such as a somewhat unrealistic driving model and a single massive track, its addictive gameplay overshadows these concerns. The game could benefit from additional features like alternate paths, weather conditions, and time-based effects. Despite these potential enhancements, the game's unique concept and sheer addictiveness make it stand out in the Dreamcast lineup.
In a gaming landscape dominated by superficial sex appeal, Space Channel 5 takes a refreshing approach. Meet Ulala, our charismatic protagonist, whose sexiness goes beyond her stunning looks. With a charming attitude, hip swagger, and seductive dance moves, Ulala becomes a virtual pop diva in a futuristic setting. Set in a campy, B-movie-inspired future, the story unfolds as aliens invade Earth, turning humans into dancing slaves. Ulala, armed with two pistols and a can-do attitude, takes on the aliens, saves captives, and reports the scoop to her audience. It's a quirky and entertaining narrative that sets the stage for the game's unique gameplay. Space Channel 5's gameplay deviates from traditional action hero approaches. Instead of blasting away foes, Ulala engages in rhythm and beat-matching dance-offs. The game adopts a Broadway musical tone, reminiscent of Parappa the Rapper, with Ulala outdancing opponents to the beat. Success is measured in TV ratings, adding a layer of strategy to the experience. Unlike its rhythm game counterparts, Space Channel 5 introduces challenges. The controls are simplistic, but players must rely on memory, attention, and the game's catchy tunes for success. Despite the initial difficulty curve, the reward is a visual and audio extravaganza, blending full motion video, 3D animation, dance choreography, and infectious music. What sets Space Channel 5 apart is its undeniable style. The game exudes vitality through its stage and character designs, creating a psychedelic outer space experience that's both campy and retro. Ulala's personality, combined with slick production values, makes Space Channel 5 a game that truly rocks. Please tell me you've played this before, because if you didn't, then you missed out a lot of fun in a very weird way. Grandia 2 doesn't conform to the typical RPG hero stereotypes. Instead, it introduces us to Ryudo, a foul-mouthed geohound, and his eclectic group of companions. From a talking bird to a naive nun with a demon inside of her, this motley crew embarks on a quest to save the world while navigating their own unique dynamics. The story unfolds in the mystical land of Valencia, where gods, demons, and the clash of faiths set the stage for an epic adventure. Grandia 2's gameplay stands out with its innovative battle system, combining real-time and turn-based elements. The tactical art system adds a strategic layer, allowing players to time attacks and unleash devastating combos. The absence of random battles is a welcome change, with hostile creatures openly wandering the environment. The game's combat is fast-paced, keeping players engaged without becoming tedious. For its time, Grandia 2 boasted impressive graphics on the Dreamcast. Character animations are fluid, and the environments are colorful and vibrant. The attention to detail and character movements during battles adds a layer of immersion, and the varied landscapes, from mountains to majestic cities, showcase the game's graphical prowess. Grandia 2's soundtrack is a breath of fresh air in the RPG realm. With a mix of electronic and rock, it deviates from the traditional classical compositions. The music complements the diverse environments and adds to the overall atmosphere of the game. Voice acting, though sparse, is well executed, with each character's voice conveying their personalities effectively. Grandia 2 offers a linear yet engaging experience, akin to playing a storybook. The character customization, impactful boss battles, and interactive environments contribute to the game's overall enjoyment. The game's fast-paced combat, impeccable graphics, and memorable soundtrack make it a standout RPG of its time. If you haven't experienced this classic, consider giving it a shot. Share your Grandia 2 memories in the comments below. Welcome to Tokyo Toe, 
a city divided among inline skating graffiti artist gangs. You're in control of the GGs, defending your turf from rival gangs while exploring the city to mark up their territory. DJ Professor K of Jet Set Radio, a pirate radio station, guides you through the plot, adding a unique narrative layer reminiscent of classic gang films. Each level comes with a time limit, a life meter, and numerous areas to tag. But it's not all fun and games. The law, starting with Keystone Cops, intensifies as you progress. From tear gas launching cops to gunship helicopters, the challenges keep escalating. Officer Onishima, a relentless cop, adds to the chaos, making sure you stay on your toes. Jet Set Radio maintains a nice pace, introducing you to skating, painting, and tricks through training exercises. Initially easy, the game ramps up in difficulty as you face tougher cops, scarce paint cans, and hard-to-reach tagging spots. Boss fights against rival gangs and creative challenges keep the gameplay engaging. Jet Set Radio's cel-shaded style is a visual masterpiece. While characters and environments aren't polygon-heavy, the smooth animation and innovative cell shading give the game a unique, hand-drawn look. It's a graphical marvel that sets Jet Set Radio apart. Matching the visual excellence, Jet Set Radio's sound effects and music are top-notch. The grinding noises and spray paint sounds are immersive, while the hip-hop beats in the soundtrack perfectly complement the action. It's a sonic experience that elevates the overall gaming atmosphere. Jet Set Radio delivers an exhilarating experience with its redefined visuals, challenging gameplay, and a soundtrack that'll keep your heart racing. Have you played it before? Share your experience in the comments below. Fantasy Star Online emerges as a beacon of innovation, bringing robust online gameplay to the console scene. Acting as a lifeline for the Dreamcast, this action RPG dazzled players with its immersive world and became so iconic that it birthed a re-release. Fantasy Star Online Version 2 Fantasy Star Online is not your typical MMORPG. Instead of sprawling virtual worlds, it's a hack-and-slash action RPG with a Japanese flair. Raggle, the game's mysterious planet, becomes your battleground as you uncover a minimalistic yet intriguing storyline. Refugees, a missing ship, and eerie messages set the stage for an epic quest. In Fantasy Star Online, first-time players dive into character creation, selecting from three species and three professions. Hunters, rangers, and forces embark on a visually stunning journey, battling through environments ranging from lush forests to futuristic ruins. Fantasy Star Online flexes its graphical muscles, presenting meticulously detailed environments on Ragel. From sunny forests to gloomy caves, each area has its unique charm. The enemy roster, filled with everything from androids to creepy woodland creatures, adds to the immersive experience. Fantasy Star Online's soundtrack is a departure from the norm. Synth-based and ambient, the music floats through outer space, creating an atmospheric backdrop. Subtle and occasionally accompanied by haunting vocals, the soundtrack complements the gameplay, with the grandiose ending theme standing out as a masterpiece. Combat in Fantasy Star Online is more than button mashing. It's a measured dance of attacks and combos. Boss battles are epic showdowns with massive creatures, demanding strategy and skill. The game's quest system adds depth, offering a variety of challenges and introducing endearing side characters. Fantasy Star Online's surface is littered with treasures, weapons, and armor. Juggling gear becomes an art as you navigate a variety of weapons and armor, each with its own strengths and considerations. Mags, your floating protector units, add an extra layer of strategy and cuteness. Fantasy Star Online version 2 introduces a higher level cap, increased difficulty, and new items. However, for newcomers aiming to beat the game once, Ver 2 and the original are essentially interchangeable. Share your experience in the comments if you've ever played Fantasy Star Online, whether on the Dreamcast, GameCube, or the original Xbox. Set in 1986, 
Shenmue follows the story of Ryo Hazuki, a teenager who witnesses his father's murder, sparking a quest for vengeance. The game takes you through the streets of Yokosuka, Japan, and later, to Hong Kong. Shenmue combines martial arts action with a meticulously detailed life simulator. Despite the urgency of Ryo's mission, the game unfolds slowly, allowing players to explore the richly detailed Yokosuka, engage in mundane activities, and even work part-time jobs. The graphics in Shenmue are a mix of quaint nostalgia and attention to detail. Yokosuka, though small, is beautifully rendered with atmospheric touches like changing weather and seasonal decorations. The soundtrack complements the game's melancholy tone, creating a deeply emotional experience. Despite its age, Shenmue's unique charm and impactful moments still shine through. But Shenmue isn't just about vengeance. It's a world filled with captivating mini-games and activities. You can escape the drama for a while and head to the arcade, play darts, feed an orphaned kitten, buy from vending machines, collect toys, listen to music through cassettes, and even work a job to raise some extra money. The game's love for the mundane reaches its peak when Ryo gets a job at the harbor as a forklift driver, picking up crates and ferrying them between warehouses. It's gloriously unnecessary, but the kind of grounded escapism that makes Shenmue so bewitching. Shenmue 2 continues Ryo's journey, now in the vast city of Hong Kong. The gameplay remains similar, with Ryo wandering the streets, interrogating locals, and following leads. However, the larger setting and increased number of NPCs can make progression feel slower. The lack of hand-holding and the game's emphasis on exploration and logical thinking remain, offering a refreshing challenge. Shenmue 2 introduces new settings like Kowloon and Gilin, providing a change of scenery. While not reaching the atmospheric heights of Yokosuka, these locations offer a welcome shift. The PC version enhances the visuals with a crisp HD interface, anti-aliasing, and some bloom lighting, retaining the game's distinct character. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to the series, Shenmue's charm, sad tone, and distinctive elements, including its myriad mini-games, make it a gaming experience like no other. And there you have it, seven unforgettable Dreamcast gems that still hold a special place in our hearts. Whether you're reliving the martial arts drama in Shenmue, soaring through the skies and skies of Arcadia, or tagging the streets in Jet Set Radio, the Dreamcast era was truly something special. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button if these classics stirred up some fond memories. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe for more gaming content and hit the notification bell so you never miss a trip down memory lane. What are your favorite Dreamcast games? Did I miss any hidden gems that you think deserve a mention? Share your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video.